Hello, I'm Allison Farkas. Gotcha. I do have a question for you though. I'm gonna ask my husband first. Honey, if a dish was named after you, what would it be? Uh, the Daniel. <laughs> if it was an edible dish, what would it be? Uh, the Daniel. And what would it be made of? Uh, steak. Great, okay. Thank you, honey. Sure. If someone named a dish after you, what would it be? Hmm. I want to briefly talk about carpaccio or carpaccio, depending on where you're pronouncing it. The C-I at the end of the word has a ch sound in Italian. So uh, this dish, which is made of very thinly sliced, like paper thinly sliced raw meat or fish, was uh, first served, uh, they say, at Harry's Bar in Venice, owned by Giuseppe Cipriani. And it was named for Vittore Carpaccio. It was named after him. He's a Venetian, was a Venetian painter, and he used reds and whites. So uh, oftentimes you can take a preparation or a name and take some liberties with it. So for those who don't love thinly sliced, paper thinly sliced meat, then you could take something like a cucumber. Now this tool, the mandolin, is fantastic, but not for the faint of heart. You have to be very careful, but you can paper slice uh, thinly slice something like a cucumber or a zucchini super quickly. I'm going to do it right now just to show you. So, so that was about 12 slices and they came out super thin. Sorry, no one's going to eat that one. Uh, so this is a great idea for putting on a plate. Talk about art. I just basically took those paper thin slices, I fanned them out on the plate, and on top of this, you can put a delicious salad, a piece of seared fish, the cold and the hot fish, and it's just a really lovely idea. So there's something for you to make this summer. Enjoy your July 4th holiday, and if you have any questions about how to get people together for meaningful engagement, please let me know. I'd love to help you out. Have a great one. Bye.